Oh, hi there. You must want to learn how to mouth sync. Well, have no fear. Devin the Geek is here. Yes, hello everyone. This is your guy, Davin the Geek. And today I'm bringing you a mouth syncing tutorial. And today, hmm, well, I don't know if this will be cut up into like different parts, but if it is, make sure to view all the parts before you ask me any questions. Because I do get that a lot. You know, someone would watch the first part and then they wouldn't watch the second one. And they asked me a question that was in the second part. So yeah, okay, here is the video that I just played for you guys in the beginning, and let's see if we can play it here. Oh, hi there. You must want to learn how to mouth sync. Well, have no fear. Devin the Geek is here. Okay, this is the audio up here at the top. It's always good to place the audio above or underneath the the mouth layer that you're gonna that you're going to sync the uh, mouths to so make sure you do that first thing that I want to get off to tell you guys how to work a mouth sync or do mouth syncing is you see these little lines they're called sound waves and for each sound wave you would want to have three gestures of lip movement for each one and you might not know what I'm talking about and you want to know and you know want to have a clear understanding well let's just come over here okay imagine if this is a sine wave I mean sound wave for each sound wave of a voice there were there will be three gestures one in the beginning this will be one point hold on let me get my what's the name right here let's change the color one point would be right here at the beginning this is when the mouth is opening or closing it could be closing or opening it depends and one and the third one right here at the highest point this would be the widest mouth opening or whatever you know gesture that you're trying to create this would be the biggest point of the mouth so right here like so say if you're gonna say the word cat right here your mouth would be open slightly like cat you know really small and then cat is going to be the biggest opening right here at the sine wave and then your mouth is going to close right here did i put a three? Oh wow i just noticed that hold on let me let me let me fix this you guys that should be a two why did i put three okay two and then right here it's going to be three hold on let me undo that it's going to be a three and this one is going to be your closing mouth right here so it can go from you know opening to all the way open right here to semi close again but that that doesn't always mean that it's going to be like that because sometimes you can have two words put together and it can make a really long sine wave so you're going to have to go in there by eye and put the poses poses where they should be eye and ear i should have said ear you know you're going to be listening for the voices so there you go it's going to be halfway open at its highest point the widest mouth right here and you know semi-closing and then so on and so on and it's a very tedious task of um for um mouth syncing okay what we're going to do is we're going to make this timeline bigger and i know a lot of people don't tell you to do this but and this will help you guys out a lot if you're going to do, you know, serious animation and mouth syncing or anything like that. Is you're going to come over here, come over here where my mouse says, click it, come down to preview. Now what this just did, this is right here is going to save you a lot of time and you're going to be like, oh wow, I didn't know about this. I know a lot of people don't know about this. But this right here, you see all these gestures? You can you can have as many in there as you want. You can have up to like I say four or three if you want, but you can have as many as you want. But um, the more frames inside the mouth gesture, you know the of the sound wave, the more realistic it will look. So we're going to get rid of this layer right here, 
gonna throw it away now that just gotten rid of all of my mouth um, poses and I'm gonna create another layer I'm gonna name it mouth okay and here is the audio if you see the audio it's a sine wave right here and I'm gonna push it over like that you see it's oh hi there hi there right around here I want to put a mouth in that is you know the smallest so this is another screen over here that I'm bringing this in from and this is my library and in my library you can make what we call symbols I mean if you don't know about symbols I suggest you look at my other tutorials on how to create symbols and how to use them okay let's get this show on the road these I have I believe let me count one two three four five six six symbols of mouths and I have that kind of mouth this with the tongue it's always good to have a tongue in there or something smile that and that these are the mouths that I use to mouth sync I'm not saying to copy what I did you can make as many mouths as you want you know the more mouths that you have the more realistic your animation will look to have the teeth okay I name them you can name your your mouths anything you want so the word he says is oh hi there so I want to get the O. I want to bring that in. So it's going to be O. Let me get my selecting tool. You see what happens when you have the selection tool, um, you know, in use. That your symbol, you know, you can't do anything with it. It's stuck at one size. Well, what you're going to want to do is right click it, go to free transfer, and you can make it as small as you want. There it goes, it says O right there, so it's O. And right around here, what you're gonna to wanna to do is insert keyframe. And what inserting keyframe will do is it will insert the same keyframe that is right here that you made, and you will put it and it will create it right here. If you create a blank creek keyframe, it won't it won't it will not um, have a mouth in it it will be all blank and you're gonna have to you know put something else in there okay I'm going to make this one bigger because you remember the sound wave is bigger it's like oh and it's gonna be going smaller right here so I'm going to insert keyframe and it's gonna come down smaller again and remember you might get discouraged when you're doing your first mouth sync because, you know, it takes a very, very long time. Mouth syncing is not something that you're going to do like in an hour if you have um, a lot of dialect inside of your cartoon or anything. So make sure you be, you know, keep an open mind at what you're doing and take breaks. Taking breaks will, you know, ensure that you keep your sanity, <laughs> believe it or not. So it's... <laughs> Oh, oh yeah, and one thing, have your onion skin layer on when you're doing this so you can move your mouth around in different positions. See, this is your onion skin right here. I, I had it on at first, but now I, I took it off. So you, if you want your onion skin, come right here and you click it. So, it's, okay, let's get back to the animation. It's going to go from O, high, like right around here. I'm going to, I can do two things. I can come over here and get a smile like this so what I'm gonna to wanna to do is if you're gonna do it this way what you're gonna to wanna to do is make sure this is selected the, um, in the keyframe you just made this mouth right here make sure it's selected and hit backspace what that just did was it got rid of the mouth that you just made but it will allow you to bring in another symbol and you can resize it but if you would have did it with a blank keyframe you would have had to right click it and then come to free transfer but if you do it that way you can always re, you know free transfer your um, poses or you know anything that you're using so it's gonna go from oh high so it's gonna go a little bit bigger let's see I'm gonna go from 
high. It's going to get big at the second part of the sound wave. So what I'm going to do is insert another keyframe and go from high and go like that. Now let's look at this one more time. It's going to go from O, high, there, and then I'm going to finish it up. And then it's going to close down just a little here, but you can't, you know, I'm going to have to open it up the mouth a little bit bigger again because it's going to say there or I'm going to put a tongue in here or something you know and if you need to look at a mirror to get your mouth poses down you know don't be scared to do that I mean we're all human and we're not perfect so we're gonna have to I mean yeah so you you can do that if you want that's that's there's nothing wrong with doing that 